My hair is wild today. I slept with it in a bun, some bun that I threw up in the middle of the night because I couldn't sleep with my hair down. This is what we have. Um, so hello, I'm vlogging today. It's another Saturday. I seem to be vlogging a lot on Saturdays. I have a few things I want to do today, which mainly involves sorting out my wardrobe, this rack. It doesn't look too bad actually, but in here, not so good. Um, yeah, I'm gonna be putting some stuff up on Depop probably this weekend. So I'm probably just gonna spend a little bit of time organizing today. I've been kind of out of action for the last week. I had a migraine, I wanna say on Monday, everything's just blurring into one blob of pain. But yeah, I couldn't do anything for a, a quite a few days. I actually missed a trip that I was supposed to go on, which I was really excited about, felt awful. So yeah, here we are. I finally managed to put makeup on this week. And yeah, that is my sad story of the day for you guys. I had a headache and it was pretty bad. This one is down here, preoccupying herself with making a mess. What have you been chewing today? Oh no, don't take that. And she's gone again. This is not gonna last long. This is her newest um, friend. It's, it's nearly missing a leg. Hmm, okay. You go and play with that. I've actually had a few deliveries today um, because as you guys are probably well aware by now, it was Black Friday yesterday. Stuff has been going on pretty much a week. Um, so I did buy a few things. Uh, maybe I'll sit here and unbox them for you so you can see what I got. Let's pop you down here. Oh, this is a new angle. Okay, so the first, um, actually the first thing that I think I bought was this. Because so this is probably the sale I was the most excited for. So this is from Masoma. I love my same jewelry. I have so much of their stuff. I have a lot of necklaces and earrings. I love their earrings in particular though. And um, yeah, I was having a little browse and they had, I think it was 25% off. How beautiful is this packaging? By the way, it's like um, like an amethyst, not an amethyst, like a precious stone kind of thing. Love it. So yeah, they had 25% off. I think it was everything with a discount code. I only got one thing, I got these earrings come in this little box. Now, I didn't measure the size of these, so I'm hoping they're about the size that I wanted. Okay, so these are the Molten Hoops. They're the medium size ones. Um, I wanted some smaller gold hoops because I have quite a few big ones. I really like to wear big gold hoops, but I loved the style of these. Let me show you these closer, actually. They're sort of like mottled, what do you call this? Um, really cute, really pretty, and I think these are just like the perfect size to have a really like, subtle gold hoop. I think I might put these on now actually, because I haven't got any earrings on today yet. Ooh, I like them. These are actually the perfect size. They do a couple of sizes, I think. And they definitely do smaller ones than this, and they do one size bigger as well. I'm not sure if there's anything else, but that's what they look like on. I like these a lot. Uh, yeah, I could have bought way more stuff from Masoma. They have the new Lucy Williams um, Roman collection too, which is all discounted as well, which is gorgeous. If the code's still on, I might have another look, but I'm gonna restrain myself because I have enough jewelry <laughs> as it is. Okay, that's what I got from Masoma. Um, and then I got this tiny, tiny ASOS box. I think this is probably the smallest ASOS box. I have ever received, isn't she cute? I only ordered um, jewelry, I actually got more earrings. <laughs> ASOS do really good gold jewelry, they do a lot of gold and silver plated stuff now, so um, it really lasts. There's nothing worse than having a pair of earrings or a necklace or anything that turns green after a few wears, so I always look out for the golden plated and silver plated stuff that they do. Um, so I got two pairs of earrings. These ones I thought looked so similar to um, the Maria Tash hoop earrings. They're so tiny, really, really small, and they have like little stones on them, um, and they're gold. They're also hinged too. Let me see if I can open one. Tiny hoop earrings like this are usually really hard to open, but these ones are just hinged like that, which makes life so much easier. I might put these in my second holes. <laughs> just putting everything on that I possibly can. Um, yeah, so these are really small. They just like skim the bottom of your earlobes, which I love, which is kind of like the Maria Tash ones. And the second pair of earrings I got are slightly different. These ones are fan earrings. Really, really tiny ones, actually. They have some bigger versions of these, but I loved the really small ones. So they're like these little fan, kind of like solid gold earrings. I've only got one hole left, but this one's going in. <laughs> this is the one I can never find. There it is. Um, and again, I think these are just ASOS own brand and they were under 20 pounds in them. 
they had 20% off too. Oh, this piece of hair is just having its its own little fun, isn't it? Um, yeah, so the big hoops, the Masoma ones, you can see how tiny this little um, ASOS hoop is. And then the fan earring at the back there. I actually really like how these all look together. Are you having fun down there chewing? You're making all the noise. Okay, so the next thing I bought... When it's all piling up in front of you, you start to consider uh, how dangerous Black Friday codes are. I got sucked in. I got sucked in and I spent my money. Okay, so this bag, Monier Ferrer. In this bag is another bag and yes, I bought a bag. I have already unboxed this one because I mean, I wasn't just gonna let it sit there. So they had 25% off, which when you're investing in something a bit more pricey, like a handbag or shoes or something, um, you know, that adds up, that goes a long way. So I've been, Looking at this brand um, for handbags for a while now, and I've really, really wanted to get one. I just couldn't decide which style because they have a few different styles that I'm really into. Um, so in the end, I ended up getting this beautiful, beautiful child. <laughs> this is the JW Anderson logo bag, um, and I got it in the burgundy shade. I haven't seen this colour anywhere else apart from on Monier Ferrer. They have lots of different colours of this. They have like a blue, which is really nice. They have a black, um, a couple of like light and neutral colours, which I was really tempted to get. But I saw this and I don't have any bags this colour. I think it's the perfect kind of autumn shade to go with autumn outfits. So this one has like quite a thick strap at the top, which I thought I would end up taking off, but I actually love it. Like, I think this makes the bag. I love the fact that this strap is there and thick. I also like how it just sort of hangs down like that when you have it on the long chain. So yeah, this is little JW and me. I'm actually really, really pleased with this. I kept like staring at it this morning when I opened it and just like walking past and saying hello. They also have the pierce bags, which are kind of similar, a bit bigger, but they have that sort of like nose ring-esque gold hoop through it with the two um, two holes and I love those two but I think this one's going to be way more practical for me so yeah this is my big Black Friday purchase of the year. I actually bought a handbag last year um, in the sales which was a Philip Lim one and I'm thinking I might sell that one now so when I go through some of my stuff later um, I might have a little look through my handbags and then um, the final thing I got I got some stuff from All Saints I don't really ever shop in All Saints but they have 30% off everything everything um and they do beautiful beautiful jackets and coats and things this is the all saints i think it's called the balfern um jacket so it's kind of like their classic style leather jacket it's a biker jacket and it's pink i had a pink jacket like this a while ago um i actually wanted the all saints one for ages and then i decided to find a dupe which was way more reasonably priced um and i liked it but it just never really fit quite the way I wanted it to, um, but these jackets are so, so gorgeous. And yeah, I was kind of thinking about getting a more classic colour black one, but I do have a black whistles jacket. Someone is very interested in this jacket. Hi. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. Okay. Thank you. Let me just scoot back a little bit. This is what it looks like on. I got my normal size. Um, because I wasn't sure how the sizing of All Saints stuff really goes. I've never really bought much from there before. But I think this is pretty good. Let's go and um, look in the mirror. Just uh, rocking some casual slipper chic for you right now. Um, yeah, this is what it looks like on. So I've got it on with a jumper at the moment. I love the colour. I also love the style of it. Like, I think it's the perfect length. Um, for the kind of types of jackets that I like to wear. I'm thinking maybe I should have sized up in this just because... I have a thin jumper on now, but if I was wearing anything thicker under this, I feel like it might not work as well. I feel like I want just a little bit more room with it. That makes me sad. Um, hopefully they'll still have some more sizes because I feel like this is gonna sell out so quickly. I am now wearing everything <laughs> that I bought in the sale. It's cost per wear, guys. You gotta make it work.
just went to town. Um, I had some stuff to return at Topshop, and what else did I do? Oh yeah, I got some food. <laughs> I got a mince pie and a coffee. Potentially the world's smallest coffee. I've never had one this tiny from Starbucks before. Uh, so yeah, I did that, and then uh, I took my for a quick walk, and I realised I didn't show you what I was wearing before I left, so let's do that now before I undress. So I took my bag out on her first outing. She did really well. Um, it's actually really easy to open and close this on the go, which is good. The leather is so soft though. It's a good and a bad thing. It feels amazing and it looks really great, but I feel like when I was opening it, I was like scratching here a little bit. So I'm gonna have to be careful with that. So yeah, I have that on. And then this new look mustard scarf, which I mentioned in my ASOS and Topshop haul. If you haven't seen that yet, I'll link it somewhere. Um, I'm so surprised at how much I love this. It's all I've been wearing, um, scarf-wise. I just like throwing it on top of everything and it seems to go with a lot of stuff. Um, I have it on with this Sonia Reichel jumper, which is like this blue and white stripe with a little like, playing card. I think that's really cute. Um, this River Island check coat, which is such a good coat. I love this. It's so flattering and it's like the perfect check coat. I was looking for one for ages and I found it. I think I got it on ASOS. And yeah, I've just got my normal Topshop straight leg jeans on. Um, and then I wore my Gucci slip-ons just because I could not be bothered to put boots on. I was wearing slippers and I literally just like slipped straight out from slippers into these. It was a brave choice wearing no socks and having my ankles out. Okay, how much better does that look? Organized. I really went through this and um, cleared it out. There was so much stuff in here I just don't use and the whole point of having this um, shelf here in my bedroom is this is just the stuff that I grab all the time. So I've gotten rid of a lot of shoes on here um, and then dedicated these two shelves to my bag. So I have my kind of like most grabbed, most reachful ones, the smaller ones, and then my most used bigger ones. And then I had a load of sandals on here that I'm just not gonna wear because it's too cold. So this is now Christmassy shoes. I've got my black um, heels. These are just my go-to shoes for any occasion. Also have some velvet ones too, which I haven't worn yet, but I feel like that's a very Christmassy party thing. And then these um, pearl ones, and then yeah, my acne gents and boots there as well. I've got some loafers on here, um, some other shoes that I wear, trainers, and then I put some of my bigger bags down on this shelf because they didn't fit anywhere else, and then more heels there as well, but I am happy with that. I also took most of the boxes off of the top, so I have to kind of find somewhere to put all of these. I'm not going to throw them away because I like to keep the boxes, but yeah, they just looked way too um, messy up there. I think it looks a lot neater now just having two. So while I was out, it got dark. Um, I have just completely lost track with how time and the weather works at the moment since the clocks went back. Do they go back or do they go forward? So I'm going to take the photos another day now because it's too dark. Um, yeah, and I wanted to use natural light, so probably we'll do that tomorrow or Monday. In the meantime, I'm just going to pile up everything that I want to sell. I'll show you a few bits actually that I've already decided on. You know when you're emptying out a handbag and you just come across stuff that you have no recollection of even owning? That's what happened with this face mask. So I have decided I am going to say goodbye to my Philip Lim bag. This poor thing never got used. I got this last Black Friday because I wanted a big black bag. Um, it's not huge, but it you know carries a laptop and stuff like that. I think I just didn't anticipate the fact that I wouldn't use such a big bag all the time. Um, so it just doesn't really get taken out much. Um, I also have my Mulberry one now, which is very similar. And I think I prefer that one. It's got gold hardware instead of silver. I still love that though. I think it's gorgeous. And also the mini one, the mini Pashley. I loved this when I got it. Um, but yeah, I'm just not sure if it's the color, um, but I don't wear this anymore and it needs to go to a better home. I'm gonna get rid of my Kate Spade one too, I think as well. And then some of the shoes, I'm thinking about selling these. These are the Stuart Weitzman. I think they're the Highland boots, um, or maybe the Thailand ones. They all have different names like that. But yeah, I just don't get enough wear out of them. I don't really wear skinny jeans and I don't really wear short skirts. So they're hard to wear. Um, if you have these and you have some ideas on how to style them, please let me know. Also these Aquazura ones, which I wore once and yeah, you can't even really tell because I wore them indoors for a party. Um, yeah, they're just a little bit too, they're not too high for me. It's just they're very hard to walk in. As for clothes, I haven't even opened up my wardrobe yet. So I'm gonna do a proper declutter of that soon. Um, let me know if you want me to film it because maybe I will add that into my um, decluttering clear out series. I think it needs to be done soon regardless. So there's not really much else for us to chat about today. So I think I'm gonna leave you guys here. Thank you for watching. Uh, I think the next 
time I upload, which is this Friday, it will be December the 1st. I looked at my calendar earlier and I have nothing planned in for December as of yet, so whether or not Vlogmas happens because although I talked about it briefly before in a different video, I still keep getting tweets and questions and comments if I'm going to do it and that you were all looking forward to my one. Not sure why, because it's not going to be very festive. My um, my kind of final word on that is that I haven't decided yet, so <laughs> we'll see. There might be a surprise coming your way. You might be very disappointed. If it happens, it happens. Okay, I'm going to stop talking now. I hope you've had a great day, and I will see you later. Bye-bye.